it's really private and secluded. And waking up in the morning and having the sun come up over the pond, you looking out upon probably one of the most iconic views of Darien, which is the old stone bridge down at Rings End Landing where the town of Darien began. And waking up to that is just spectacular. You're out on the terrace, you know, having coffee and <laughs> you're in this very tranquil, peaceful, quiet setting. We assume that we would just take the house down and uh, build our dream home. When we put the offer in on the house, we never even walked inside of the home. We just did it for the piece of land. And we walked into the door back in the uh, keeping room. The original uh, amounts of just hardware, woodwork, the fireplaces, everything was all original in the home. My wife and I walked through the home at that point and I looked at her and I said, we can't tear this place down. Uh, we've got to do a restoration. So I've always had my hands in on vintage homes, antique homes. The difference here was that when I got involved with this was that I had the real McCoy. And many homes that are as old as this home is, in 300 years, they typically go through transformations. This home was untouched. Since it remained in the same family, they didn't change anything. Because they didn't change anything, I had everything original at my fingertips. We were very much aware that this was a very unique home and that it would take a unique buyer who's going to appreciate it. With that in mind, we wanted to put together the home so it had the contemporary layout and amenities that you would want in a home today. You have a large eat-in kitchen uh, with a separate breakfast area. So we wanted to keep that in mind to basically give the house another lease on life. Uh, for the next hundred years so that someone would come in and appreciate the, uh, the history that exists here and really can't be duplicated and just enjoy with your family the way our families enjoyed it.